I want to welcome all of you. It's, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I've just written a book on entrepreneurship. It's called Unmet Needs of Entrepreneurship. You'll have seen it there. So who am I? He's very briefly introduced me. I have uh, around 20 years of entrepreneurial experience. Before that, I was with the IPC group with the merchant banking function. I was uh, doing I IPOs for a couple of years and then 20 years on my own. Now I have joined uh, IIM Bangalore. It's been 15 months. I did the alumni relations uh, function of here. Uh, what is the book about? The book is essentially, it, 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 uh, what I've done is, it, it's based on my observations of what entrepreneurs actually do and some of the very basic questions in terms of what is it, what makes entrepreneurs tick? Why do we do what, what we do? This question can be asked to me right now. Why am I here? Why are you doing what you're doing? Right? So, to understand the why, it's very important. What needs of mine is being met by writing a book on entrepreneurship? We, we usually start a business by asking this question, what are the unmet needs of the customer? So what, are the, what needs of a business gets met by doing business? What needs of a customer gets met? Right? What needs of the entrepreneur gets met by meeting the unmet needs of the customer? So these are very fundamental questions. And if you if you have clarity on that, it, it's all revolves around purpose. So this book is essentially it revolves around the theme of needs and its impact on various aspects of entrepreneurship. So you'll be surprised that there are many of the the many aspects of entrepreneurship that has uh, uh, that can be very interesting and in terms of connecting it to needs. For example, things like how do you generate ideas? Is there a is there a process behind it? How do you, how do you uh, discover customers' unmet needs? Is there a process? Instead of just saying what are the unmet needs, is there a process behind it? Is there a you know method to madness, so to speak? So I have given certain frameworks. Okay, let me because the slides are there. Let me. He told me why didn't get some slides, so I thought let me do it as a pitch. Right? You can use this as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, basically, it has a, what is interesting about the book, it has a lot of illustrations, it's a very conversational language, easy to understand, something that we can relate to, not academic. Uh, common day, real life examples, based on, you know, what happens around the world, my own observations. So, these are, that, that's a model that I have uh, illustrated, it's called the Anik model. So, how do you benefit from it? Uh, the, the, the whole idea is not about the content of what you're doing. I mean, you, you are experts in what you actually are doing. Who am I to even talk about what you guys do in terms of the content? What is interesting is the form. Are there certain patterns that I can actually, you can apply to your own context? My objective as an author is to, to see if I can provide you with different perspectives of looking at something. Are there choices? Of looking at something. That's my objective. And if you can gain some kind of insights there, I think my objective is met as an author. So, generation of charges, awareness. And, and there are uh, many themes around the book. The book uh, revolves around generation of ideas, breakout innovations, why entrepreneurs do what they do, what stops entrepreneurs from doing what they do, want to do. There are a lot of people I come across who say, I want to do something, but something seems to be stopping them. They have everything with them, money is there in the bank resources, managing hundreds of millions of dollars, and yet something stops them. What is it? Right? Some kind of self awareness How do you build empathetic organizations? What is the role of language in building empathetic organizations? It's emotional awareness. The last chapter is very interesting. It talks about failures. Okay? And I, I keep telling people, businesses fail, entrepreneurs don't. Right? So we need to distinguish between, because sometimes I come across people uh, using that adjective failed entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs don't fail, businesses fail. So, yeah, who is it for? Entrepreneurs would be entrepreneurs, aspiring, professional leader, anyone curious about entrepreneurship. And, and uh, very interesting also about how do I sell my books? Now, this is a context. So I can sell my books through retail stores. Digital, Amazon, etc. And another place is the context. Where do people congregate? Where do entrepreneurs congregate? Pitch tour is one. So I come here and it was kind enough to give me five minutes and here, pitching my book. 
right? So even in your business, you either, when you're looking for routes to the market, to customers, you, are, you need to first understand where the customers are located and what are the routes to the market. Or do I focus on customers or, or do I focus on context in which where customers are going to consume your service or the product. So when for me, this is a context. And I'm trying to target the context, assuming that you'll buy a book. Right? So the book also contains about models about how you can understand customers. A different way of understanding customers is instead of that, you know, you have psychological needs, demographic needs, and all that. You know, all, most of you know. So I give a model of different way of looking at a customer. Right? So the problem give you some insights. These are some, some testimonials from, from people who found the book interesting in terms of the connections. What did you get today? Yeah, the book cost two, two ninety five on Amazon. You'll get it for 180 bucks out here. So that's the economic. <laughs> so what's my ask? So if, if you actually find something interesting in the book and if you can get back to me and say, hey, I, I gained from this, I think my objective is met. So that's my ask and my ask is yes, spread the word around and Amazon reviews which you can probably, you know, Facebook, forward, share, you know, whatever you do, visibility for the book will be fantastic. Any questions? Two minutes, yes. So being a sucker for a deal, I bought the book. <laughs> <laughs> it was very interesting, he bought the book first and he told me, hey, this is something, Anik model. So very few people, he went to the fourth chapter, people started the first chapter. He went directly to the fourth chapter based on the, con the contents, the TOC, Table of Contents. He said, I'm interested in the fourth chapter. He went quickly through that. He said, this is interesting. So, I liked it. I liked it, yeah. And, and one more point, we have five minutes is up, sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, there's two minutes. We have two minutes. Two minutes. Q&A, two minutes. Do you have an introduction of your book as well? Yeah, yeah. you do have. You do have. Do you want to, uh, you know the title. You yeah, yeah, Unmet Needs of Entrepreneurship. Okay. Instead of going to Amazon, find out here. So yeah. <laughs> it's there. 180 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Any other quick questions? What inspired you to write this? It's, uh, you know, all of us are curious about things. So, you know, like any of us, so I was curious about uh, understanding what makes entrepreneurs tick. Why people do what they do. Uh, finding out the purpose, I think, was very important. You know, even in their own personal lives, right? Uh, like I was just talking to him, I could ask the same question to my mother, why did I write the book? What needs of mine are met by writing the book? My, my need to share. So it's beautiful, I could take a long time, but I want. But when you, if we, we call it, you know, chunking up or deductive logic. Needs are basically a generalization when you move up from a specific to generalization. When I say my, the, 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 my need for sharing is being made by writing a book, you could ask me, are there other ways to share? So writing a book is just one of the ways that meets my need to share. So once you, that awareness is there, then you'll explore other choices of action that will meet the same need. Any other? I think I'll stop. How long does it take to write a book? Two years? <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's still, it's uh, the most difficult part is getting a publisher. So I was lucky to get a good publisher, one of the large ones. So see, like I can sit out here. Someone from the publishing house comes here and he sits there. Oh, okay. yeah. next time you got to get it published from here. Also. Yeah, yeah. There's a publisher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Thank uh, you. Do so you write every day? Huh? Do you write every day? No, no, not really. Not really. But you need to be in the zone. You need to be in the flow. So. And suddenly one day you sit down, you write, you know, quite a few <laughs> pages and then yeah. it works that way. There are some who are very disciplined, they say every hour, one hour, every day, one hour and that kind of stuff. doesn't work for me. How much of the published is the same as your first version? No, actually there's the same first version. It's got, I was waiting for a good publisher. Okay. No, you didn't make much change? No, I didn't make much change. Hardly, hardly any change. I had actually released it as a Kindle version. It was there for two two months. Okay. But I stopped myself from self-publishing. You know, that that was again yeah, you know, taking too much of time. Yeah, yeah. Self-publishing is there and you know or traditional publishers. So you any author would like to go through a traditional publisher because you have more reach and distribution, etc. So I kept waiting for it's a frustrating way. <coughs> he knows he's a publisher, so yeah, you know, 
It's a frustrating wait for an author. It, 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 it takes more time getting a, finding a publisher who will accept your work. The publishers get any number of manuscripts from bureaucrats, CEOs, politicians, fiction, non-fiction. Thanks for one last Thank you so much. <laughs> Do you blog regularly and... Uh, no, but very, very interestingly, I can, listen, I can break uh, stereotyping. I'm not a voracious reader. Mm -hmm. Whatever reading is probably restricted to a few non-fiction books that I've read long time back. No, his question is, were this like you started yeah. blogging? And then then I blogged a few. Blog. Blog. And some part of it formed it. Yes, 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 yes. I, I actually, uh, I was not a social, I was not into social media. So 2015, December, my first post on social media at LinkedIn. So <laughs> I posted something and I got some some 2,000 views or some 50 shares. I didn't know what that meant. So <laughs> they said, hey, it's a nice statistics for the first post. I thought, okay. Wow. That's <laughs> why you started. Like, That's why I started. I wrote five. Then I stopped. I thought, let me come into the book. Wonderful. Thank you.